All right, just finished doing my 24 hour stealth camping video. It is 1 16 December. Did it flip over? Wednesday, uh, December 23rd. So I'll have to get home. This is um, the most footage I ever shot in any of my videos ever. Um, I've almost used up the whole card on this camera and I had to charge it up twice. Uh, I ran out of battery once last night, almost today. So I had to charge it up a bunch of times. But basically I did six food adventures in one 24 hour stealth camping video. So it's probably gonna be a 40 to 45 minute long video. And that's just the way it goes. Uh, a lot of you guys, thank you very much for all your suggestions. Uh, when I asked you in the last video, when you guys respond to a question I ask in the video, that means you guys are listening and uh, want to help. And I really appreciate it. I love the community that we're building on my vlog channel. And uh, I just wanted to show my appreciation to you guys. You guys rock. Um, so we have to head out. But again, I just wanted to show my appreciation to you guys. Thank you very much for responding, telling me what you like. Um, a lot of you guys are like, just do whatever. <laughs> we, we'll watch whatever. So I, I, I appreciate that. Uh, and, it, and a lot of times when I ask questions, I usually sometimes don't ask questions like that because it's like a 50-50. Like half the people will say yes, half the people say no, and then there'll be, an, well, I guess it can't be half and half. Let's say 40% will say do it. 40% over here will say don't do it. And then 20% will be like, ah, whatever. Just, just make content. That's all we want is content. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I think this time, like it's all over the place. So I, I would like to continue doing the 24 hour ones and then do like the side stealth camping. I guess the best thing to do right now is to try a stealth camp. So get there at dinner time, do that, do a midnight snack or whatever, sleep, wake up in the morning, do a breakfast and, uh, but. The difference between what I'm doing and what Steve's doing, Steve is actually, you know, eating and, and cooking, whereas I'm I'm a foodie guy in the fact that I like to go to restaurants. So uh, I, I will always be probably doing my stealth camping uh, in and around restaurants and uh, plazas. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of plazas to do and a lot of mom and pop type shops. And uh, I just have to make sure I'm in super safe areas. Um, the one thing about having this car, which is a very nice looking car, I'm not I'm not patting myself on the back or anything, but I was kind of scared last night because my car is the only one in the parking lot and it's a nice looking car. It could it could it could attract the wrong person, but like I'm in a really nice area of Barrie and uh, so I wasn't scared. Uh, I was concerned. But I wasn't scared. I, the, the, my, my biggest fear, every time I heard like a truck or something go by, I thought maybe a, a tow truck was gonna hook up to my car to tow me away because it's, my car is not supposed to be there or whatever. But there was no signs. I did check, I always check the, uh, the light standards to see if there's signs saying no overnight camping or no overnight parking or whatever. Um, it'd be interesting to know the difference between parking and sleeping in your car. Are you? Are you parking? Like they don't want people leaving their car there overnight. That's what they don't want. But if you're in the car, sleeping, I'm not causing any problems. The parking lot's big enough. I'm not using up people's parking spots. So I think I'm okay. I think the worst would ever happen would I get a ticket, uh, a loitering ticket or something. I don't know. Anyway, so uh, we have to hit the uh, liquor store. I'll take you in with me. And uh, that guy almost sideswiped me, did you see that? Oh, that was a little scary. Whoa, and this guy ran right in front of me, wow. Unbelievable. I wish I had a front facing camera. She caught right in front of me, no indicator. Just decided I need to be in the left turn lane too. That was close. And it's a Tiguan too, it's not Carol. It's a white Tiguan. Um, so the liquor store is just over here. And uh, we are going to go grab a bottle of wine and maybe some rum for the holiday season. I haven't had rum in, I don't know, a year? Maybe? No, I had rum last week. I had one thing of rum. Like, uh, there's like, a, like this much rum left in a Captain Morgan thing last week or the week before. And I mixed it with some zero calorie 
beverage and that both of them combined yeah, it was like the worst drink I ever had so I'm going to buy some white Bacardi one of my favorites or maybe some Appleton rum we'll find something if they have any uh, Barbados rum I love Barbados rum uh, there's two kinds there's Mount Gay I'm not kidding there's Mount Gay and Cockspur two Barbados rums that are fantastic if you ever see those uh, in a liquor store and I believe there are some liquor stores that we've been to in the States on our rock climbing adventures and that guy had liquors that you would never see in a normal liquor store he, he like imports stuff from all over the world and uh, he said yeah he goes next time you guys come down and you want any specific liquor from anywhere give me like a month or two's notice and I'll let you know if I can get it and have it there so we can pick it up when we come down to the rock line but of course this year is a crazy year and there is eh, about six people lined up all right let's go get our wine we need some wine for gifts and we need we're in a situation people come on you can do it all right so he is finally out of his spot I like to try and find those spots in the parking lot that are far away from everybody else. When you, whenever you get a new car, you just want to be as safe as possible. With this car, I have to put it in reverse just to see if I'm in the spot. Come on, dude. And I am, see, because my car is so big now, I have to use this thing, hang on. So I can see where the lines are all the way around my car because of the cameras, but you only can see that when you put it into reverse. So there we go. All right, let's go get some booze. Change my mind. 32.95, and this looks wonderful. Eight year old. Nice, that's it. I got the Baileys. Lots and lots of different wines to choose from. France, New Zealand. Looking for red. Done. I got some Sapporo in there. That's for me. All right, all settled in. Start your engines. Time to go home and download this card. There's only, hang on, there's only 17 minutes left on this card, which usually holds two hours and 44 minutes. So I shot a lot of footage this time. All right, let's go. Hey guys, it is now Tuesday, December 29th. Yeah, that's right. I'm trying to go through everything in my head slowly. A lot of stuff happened since uh, the last shot I did, which was, um, was it the day before New Year's? Yeah, it was the day before, sorry, Christmas Eve. So the day before Christmas Eve, uh, I got finished the stealth camping video, finished at the liquor store, got home, I guess that was the Wednesday, did my uh, live show with you guys, didn't, I just uploaded all the footage from the stealth camping video and let's let the computer crunch all that information and then uh, did the live show and then I just sat back and crashed and, and uh, just watched TV with Carol um, and then Christmas Eve I worked all day <laughs> trying to get the video out to you guys which I finally did I can't remember what time I launched it I think it was like 9 o'clock at night or I don't remember what time I launched it but, uh, and then Carol and I did our, yeah, it was late. It was late. It was a really, really tough day. 
to try and uh, get all that stuff done in time for Christmas Eve dinner with Carol. But uh, we finally managed. I think I f finished actually editing at around 7 and then it took like an hour to, to export it and then to another hour to upload it and do the thumbnail and all that stuff. So we worked through it and everything worked well. Um, and then Christmas Day, Carol and I celebrated our own uh, unwrapping of our gifts that we give to each other. And uh, I think over time I'll be showing you some of the things that we got. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about everything. I guess two of the things I like to tell you guys that I got Carol frying pan from all clad beautiful beautiful 12 inch cooking look at that oh unbelievable and then i also bought her this eight inch which she's been using non-stop because it is great for cooking eggs um this is if you want to get into cooking which i want to get into you gotta make sure you have the best and all clad seems to be the best um 3d stainless steel eight inch made in the us of a and uh, so I bought that mainly for Carol, but I'll be using it too, of course. And then I got her these measuring things so we can have all the different stuff measured out when you're going to cook. Uh, I also got her some heat uh, spatulas so they go up to 450 degrees because uh, we have like regular spatulas, but they don't, they're not good for heat. This is another one of the owl clad uh, spatulas, so like just different shapes. And then I also got a uh, nice slotted spoon beautiful sorry for the lighting but carol bought me some coffees i love coffee at christmas so she brought me this organic blend so this is like their holiday blend which was amazing love it i just had that this morning and then of course costa, costa rica another one of my favorite coffees and then she brought bought me oh this is the holiday blend yes that's the one i had and then the other one was an original blend so there's two different kinds, three different kinds of coffee. Again, love coffee. So that was on my wish list. Uh, don't need really anything else. Oh, and she got me, Carol likes to buy me uh, things that I like to eat. So she bought me tins of mackerel and sardines. So all individually wraps, it's like all morning, it's like unwrapping presents. And then of course, some fudge covered Oreos, one of my favorite cookies. Uh, also the white one and of course this one in mint. So all three of those are my fave. Uh, she could only get her hands on this one. She did buy, uh, actually one of my kids bought me the white covered Oreos because I found them at a, at a, I don't know, a grocery store somewhere and brought those home for me. That was a nice treat. Uh, ben got me this. This is very cool. So I haven't put all of our wrapping stuff away. But uh, this is a Hugh Go. A Hugh Go. Hugh Go made in poland interesting didn't know that but uh yeah you press the button on the back and it does all different kinds of lighting as you can see and it can unplug and it's got a battery pack in it and then you can put it anywhere you want uh that one changes colors over time i think i'm still learning all the different ones you can control it with your phone but uh, again, you can just put them anywhere. Again, you can control the brightness and everything. Ah, I forgot to put this away. Ate that last night. That's another thing I got. Jalapeno chips. That's done. I'll put that in the garbage later. But this thing has like 16 million color choices. And depending on what color choice and how, what brightness, it depends on how long it will last. I'm thinking that uh, some of these low ones will last like 12 hours or longer until you have to plug it in. Uh, and if you press and hold, I think it will shut off. There we go. And again, you can actually keep it like that, like a bowl, or you can tip it up. Again, these were introduced to me by uh, JP and Julia. Yep. Cool. And then mid-afternoon on Christmas Day, the kids came. We set up a shelter or like a rain shelter thing outside. We had like a propane heater thing. We had a fire going in the back. We all wore our masks and uh, just practiced social distancing, most weird Christmas ever. Uh, I took a beautiful, epic picture, a very historic picture of us all standing like six feet apart with our masks on, with our Santa hats on. And uh, yeah, that'll, that will go down in history in our family. How we celebrated Christmas uh, during these tough times, 2020. Uh, and then uh, the next day, Boxing Day, as we call it here in Canada, the day after Christmas day uh we 
uh, drove out to my mom's house, stood in the driveway, practiced our social distancing, wore our masks, and talked. Uh, it was worth the drive. Just went there. She gave me some Christmas soup that I get every year. And, uh, you know, again, no touchy-touchy. Uh, stay away from <laughs> certain people. Uh, so my mom's been by herself for months and months and months. She lives near my sister, so they're at least... Uh, that they have their social bubble unfortunately because they're so far away from us that our social bubble is here and at carol's cottage and that's our social bubble and uh so from my mom's house on christmas or sorry on boxing day went to my sister's house did the same thing stood in the driveway waved masks um stayed away from each other just shook our heads like <laughs> well at least we're all still here you know and uh trying to enjoy it as best we can then we drove home that night, again, watched probably another movie, and uh, and then the next day we went up to Carol's Cottage and celebrated with her family and uh, came home last night. So last night was Monday. Yeah, I got home last night. Again, finished a movie. It's a George Clooney movie, The Midnight Sky. I don't, it's a good movie, but there's so many. You actually have to watch like a YouTube video afterwards to try to explain everything um, because it just it just ends weird. You don't know what the hell happened. Uh, anyway, if you want to see it, go go ahead and watch it. And let me know. Um, I wouldn't rate rate it a high movie to watch, but it's it was pretty interesting. So like I said, it is Tuesday, the 29th of December. I'm trying to figure out my last video for the year. Got to figure that out today, shoot it today, edit and put it up as soon as possible before the, uh, the end of the month. Uh, and then I'm not sure if I'm going to take a week break or not. If I do take a week break off, um, then I will probably do like a vlog here and there. Um, I have like a special thing being delivered and I can't wait to show it to you guys and uh, yeah, take you on some adventures. Spo uh, what's it called? Cliffhanger. Bye.